Yeah, friends, uh, welcome on Europedia, and uh, this particular video is related to the writing practice module of uh, Europedia for mains exam of CPDTM, and this one is for physics. As I told you many times earlier, uh, for your mains exam, which is uh, going to be on 25th of January, uh, there is 300 marks paper of your own subject. And if you want to score good in that, you need to do a lot of uh, practice, writing practice you have to do. So, your PD already has a module for that. In case you people are interested, you can join that particular module. Those of you who uh, do not want to join the module, still they want the content of your subject. Little bit content, I mean 30% as I told you earlier, your PDA provides free of cost. So now we have started uh, mailing this particular content to all of you. And uh, I'm very sure those of you who have filled the Google form and provided their mail details, uh, they have already got in their mail account the content. If you have not, you can comment on my this particular video. And those of you who have want the content, please fill the Google form which is attached below, providing your mail details, your WhatsApp numbers and all. And uh, our department, our staff is going to send you this, uh, you know, this entire detail, this material. And regularly, I mean, one mail today, so maybe after three days, the new documents and the mail will come to you. So we are trying to consolidate uh, mail, uh, you know, our students' entire data we are consolidating and we will keep on providing these details to you. Uh, that is one of the marketing stunt of Europedia, uh, I must say very uh, honestly. But at the same time, it is going to help you also. You get the content in your mail account. So this is uh, uh, related to, uh, uh, I'm not expert of physics. So the mentors have provided the content of physics, which I'm going to share with you. And this is related to mathematical method of physics. That is one of the uh, topics in the syllabus of physics for control general patent design and trademarking mains exam. So mathematical methods of physics, what can be questions? What type of questions can be asked there? concept of random variables used in mathematical method analysis and physics. So you read the question, what is the best way is this document will come, this is 35 page document of first chapter, that will come to you. Uh, but you read the question, uh, explain the concept of random variables used as mathematical method of analysis in physics. Now read the question and try to uh, give the answer. Uh, write the answer in your uh, pages, right? So when you go uh, for your mains exam 25th of January, there also you are supposed to write. So read the question, write the question on your page and try to answer it. And then later on, maybe you can read this particular uh, document which uh, mentors have provided and on that line, you can uh, think of providing writing this. And wherever you can write the table, where you can make a diagram, where you can write the equations, as I told you earlier also, you can always do that. So as I told you, I'm not expert in this particular thing, I mean how uh, it is what is the content of this this mentors have provided so but you should know that how it is to be written so what are the two different discrete probability distributions binomial distribution poison distribution the questions based upon these two distribution the applications of these two distribution in the uh, physics uh, domain of the physics what are the applications of these distribution methods so what is binomial distribution and what are the applications of this so you have to explain uh, binomial pr uh, probability formula and you know, what are the various uh, uh, applications of this. So first explanation and then giving some value and then detail of that. So friends, this is the document which you can download and uh, yeah, give some illustration to explain discrete probability binomial and Poisson distribution. This is a question, uh, write it and then compare it with how the mentors have did, uh, written binomial distribution and give some kind of uh, illustrations of that binomial distribution is this and this is where it is used so uh, maybe take a case this can pop up as a numerical also he can give you a numerical also in the exam which you have to provide solution to and as you know it is a subjective so he can give you numerical so numericals are also provided if this is the question binomial distribution say how you are going to solve this particular question <coughs> read this friends uh, and uh, i think in this particular chapter first chapter he has given a uh, uh, couple of topics uh, which are related to various distributions, normal distribution and all, I think, and uh, how you are to interpret it in the world of physics, what you have to do. So this entire thing he has, I think, provided you. So uh, normal distribution and all comparison is given. 
so yeah and the questions numericals if you have to solve that also is given some subjective questions important subjective questions picked from various exams especially related to uh, you know ipr related exams so from there these questions have been picked so maybe you can uh, uh, you know what is the central limit theorem explain this and what are the applications and maybe some numerical on the basis of central limit theorem so this uh, details friends you please take so i think you should read it and then yeah so numericals can also pop up like uh, size of the 50 college is 150 known from earlier data average is only 30 percent accepted for admission so <clears throat> but what is the probability that this will happen so i think probability related questions on the basis of the distribution so what distribution you will use and uh, how you will find the answers to that so whatever uh, uh, syllabus of this particular chapter is given i think the questions have been framed on the basis of this so i suggest you uh, take this document friends and the way to take this document yeah application of uh, mathematical methods in physics on various uh, uh, domains like vibrating system so if there's a system which is a vibrating system how to find out uh, the eigen values for that vibrating system so <coughs> that also is i think covered here so typically expression how you will draw and uh, what you will do those kind of questions i think are picked up by the mentors so as i told you friends these are the some questions some topics which mentors have picked for you just go through it take this document and start solving it uh, today is the 6th january and uh, only less than 20 days are left questions solution writing practice and i'm very sure you are revising already that is how you have to do it those of you who have not so far received this material please fill the google form if the students of physics are listening to me fill the google form and take these things in your uh, you know mail account and you start doing it and maybe those of you who are associated with your pedia they can write the answer they can show to the mentors and then they can proceed forward thank you